Hi, I'm Laura Brody, and I'm going back to the making of Melusine, my latest artwork. Here I make her tail fins. In this section, I turn coconut milk, mango, and milk containers into Melusine's tail fin. She gets two of them because she has two tails. My first step is to cover the fin shape in a good stable fabric. I'm using the black cultist robe fabric from the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society for that. I will then get to cover it with the pretty stuff later. Now that the fin base is covered in the cultist fabric, I need to first cover it with this lovely sheer metallic, and then with this metallic sheer stripe, which will give it a really lovely shimmer. I will then do a little embroidery thread on top of it. After covering the fin in fabric, I then zigzagged embroidery thread in two different shades on either side, just to create that really nice pattern. I'm going to then cover the inside here and the entire back with a pleated bright green stripe fabric. I took this bright green fabric from, that I got from Venus de Mille and pleated it onto the center and sewed the edges pretty well. I also tacked down in between each pleat to make sure it would stay in place. Pleating the green fabric onto the back of the fin takes a lot of pins and a lot of fabric. I've got only a little ways to go yet now. Now that it's all pleated on, I'm going to go through, turn it around, and top stitch from the other side on all of the points. Very, very slowly. The last time I did this, I lost several pins and a needle, so it's better to go slow. About three bent pins and a broken needle later, I'm now ready to trim this right at the edge of the stitching, all the way around, and then do a zigzag, a short, tight zigzag, to finish off all the edges. After zigzagging the edges, I pinned on these lovely little flat washers to give it some shine. And I did it on both sides of the fin and sewed them down using a curved needle. Soon Melusine will have both of her fins. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you'll come and see us again.